Hey, I'm Amanda. Welcome to my first ever vlog and the first video I'm posting on this channel since 2018. I definitely didn't plan on taking a six year hiatus, but life got in the way and it was just easy to push the video making to the wayside. But today I'm feeling motivated to get back on here and start making videos. I will still be posting crafty content and tutorials and whatnot, but vlogging is something I have wanted to try out since I started watching YouTube over a decade ago, and I thought just give it a shot and see if it's something that I like to do or if it's something you guys enjoy watching. So I'm getting out of my comfort zone and seeing how this goes. I thought since I've been gone for so long, I would share a few facts about myself so you can kind of get an idea of who I am. And I want to do a project that I have been putting off for a couple of years now. It's not the most exciting project, but I want to get it done. And since I'm not feeling the most creative today, I thought it would be a good thing to do so I can check it off my list and move on. So I thought I would go ahead and share that. Now on to talking about myself, which is actually not something that I am super comfortable with. So I don't really know what I think I'm doing vlogging, but we're just gonna go with it. First little fact about me is I obviously love being crafty. I love creating stuff. And my favorite medium to work with by far is paper. It's something I have enjoyed since I was a little kid and I was making construction paper dioramas and stuff like that. So I think it's really neat that that's something that I carried with me through adulthood because I tend to hop around from project to project and learning new crafts, but I don't foresee myself ever abandoning my love for paper. A couple other crafts that I love doing and I do on a regular basis is needle felting. I enjoy it so much. It's like sculpting with felt and the needle stabbing the felt is like ASMR to me. So I do that a lot. And then I also love making miniatures. I recently completed a kit that I got of a miniature coffee shop and I have four more miniature kits that I plan on working with and I will be sharing videos of me working on those. I also really like working with clay and I like making jewelry and I just like a whole bunch of different crafts but those probably are my top three. Next little fact, I have a daughter who will be turning 16 in April. I love spending time with her. She makes me laugh. She makes me so happy. I love her so much. I also have a husband that I met in 2011 and we got married in 2018 and I couldn't be happier and I'm very grateful for him. Since we're on the subject of family, I will talk about my pets. I have two dogs named Kirby and Stitch, and they are such bright spots in my life. If I'm feeling a little overwhelmed, they always know how to put me in a better mood. I also have a bird named Detta. She is a crimson belly conure, and she is so sweet and funny and really clingy. She loves to cuddle. Another little fun fact about me is I absolutely love the horror genre. It's something that I have loved since I was a little girl. I love the paranormal stuff specifically and love ghost stories. There's a good chance if I'm listening to something or watching something, it is scary. Last little fact about me is I run an Etsy shop. In the shop, I sell magnets and stationary items like cards and envelopes, notebooks and things like that. And I have a few other little miscellaneous items that I sell, but by far the magnets are my best sellers, specifically glitter magnets. All right, I think I will stop there with the facts about myself. If you have any other questions, you can for sure leave a comment below and depending on the question, I will answer it or I won't. <laughs> now I'm going to work on my little organization project. I'm not sure what the rest of my day is going to look like after I finish that project, but I have a feeling a snack will be involved or maybe some afternoon coffee, maybe both. I don't know, but I'm going to go get started on the project. 
All right, here are the drawers I'm gonna be working on today. I got these off of Amazon a couple years ago and they are perfect for what I need. I sell a lot of magnets in my Etsy shop, specifically custom orders. So I need to have all my supplies easily accessible and ready to go so I can just grab what I need and start on the order. I was really excited when I found these because first of all, I think they're really cute. But also, you can buy each individual drawer unit separately, so it's easy to customize the setup with what you need. So, for instance, I have three wide single drawers, which are great for, you know, like this has my coffee filters for when I make glitter magnets, and I can gather all the glitter in there. And then I have different adhesives and things that I need in that drawer and other little toothpicks and my, my magnets and all that in that drawer. And then in these little half drawers, I can separate and organize my glass cabochons by shape and size. So like this one is a drawer for my little round mini magnets, which are so, yeah, I know it's kind of hard to see, but they're really teeny tiny. So I'm able to just grab what I need. People usually keep them in a bag, so I just grab the bag, count them out, and I'm good to go. Each of these are a different shape or size of the cabochons I need. And then here are some different styles. Like this, I have metal buttons for my fabric magnets, and back here I have little wood, little wood chips that I make for magnets. Yeah, just like perfect for what I need. My only complaint is the drawers are clear, which I did not foresee being an issue when I bought these. Because you can see what's in each drawer, it looks kind of chaotic. I have decided to measure and cut black cardstock to slip inside of the drawer. So it will hide what's in there and keep everything looking clean. This may seem silly to some, but I'm gonna go ahead and finally get this done. It's a perfect thing to do because I'm not super creative today, but this will make me feel productive. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on it. All right, so here I have my supplies. I have a ruler, my trusty old paper trimmer. This is my bag full of scraps. I have a ton of scrap cardstock and I need to measure this long one first. I'm gonna get this done. So I'm gonna measure on the inside of this. So this looks like it six and one sixteenth yeah six and one sixteenth so i'm going to make a little note of that because i will forget because i have a very hard time um remembering simple numbers without writing them down and then i am just putting the ruler inside of here and measuring that way it looks like two and a half inches is gonna do it for that. So two and a half inches. And then I will go ahead and measure this size drawer. So the inside here, obviously it's gonna be two and a half inches. I don't even know why I uh, thought I needed to measure that. So it's a little hard to say. It's almost three inches. I think it might be two inches and 15 sixteenths. <laughs> so I'm gonna see, I'm gonna say three inches, maybe. It could be um, two and 15 sixteenths. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay, so I will go ahead and start with a long one. Okay, here we go. And I actually, some of this scrap stuff I've printed on before and I just haven't needed it. So I can use this paper and just put the printed side facing the inside of the drawers. Okay, so this is six and one sixteenth. 
So first of all, I'm gonna make sure that this is all straight. So this trimmer only goes to six inches. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it and I can trim a little bit more if I need to. I'll just go a little bit over six and I will do my first slice. And then it is two and a half inches tall. Okay. I think it's right. <laughs> okay, so before I start going to town on cutting more of these, I am going to make sure that this fits okay. Um, all right, I think I can just do this as six inches. And then we'll try this again. Yeah, that works. Let me make sure when I close it, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these sliced. I'm going to be gluing that to the back of this knob because then you won't be able to see the adhesive and it'll stick and it doesn't need to be like super permanent because if I change my mind, it'll be easy enough to remove. So I'm not sure what kind I'm gonna use it. I have tacky glue. I have this tape runner, which I'm hoping will work because it's just gonna be the easiest to apply and to remove. Or I can double up. Wait, wait a minute. Okay. I think I figured it out instead, actually. I'm going to use these double sticky foams, I think. All right, so I'm gonna set this stuff aside. It's not how I use it, I really don't think. So I'm going to take off that side. I'm just gonna throw that on the floor. Okay, so I'm picking that off and then I'm just gonna place it in between there. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, and I'm making sure I'm not using a uh, printed side. If it's printed, it's facing the inside. This one's not printed, so I'm going to line it up in the center, which isn't difficult to do. Press it, press it, press it. Okay, let's see how that looks. Look at that. You can't even tell. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's that one. It looks so much better. I can't believe I didn't do this sooner. I know that I'm nerding out and it's like, it's so lame. <laughs> I feel like a total dork, but I'm sure there are people out there that understand this sort of thing. Look how cute that is. That was so easy, so quick, so simple. I mean, get out of town. Are you kidding me? It's already so much cleaner, so neat, so tidy, super satisfying. I love it. Thanks for hanging out while I put this together. All right, that concludes my first vlog. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. I look forward to making more in the future. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Definitely keep an eye out for craft tutorials and process videos that I will be posting soon. I think the first one I will be posting is a Lego set that I got for Christmas. It's not a tutorial or anything like that. It's just a time lapse video because I love Lego and I love dinosaurs and it's from a scene from Jurassic Park. So I'm editing that video now and it should be up in a few days, hopefully. I'm still a little rusty with the video making and editing and stuff. So things are taking a little bit longer, but I'm just happy to be back. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing. I look forward to making more videos and sharing them with you guys. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you next time.